welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the OPS Sun moon horizon sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um, this is the month of September let's see what is happening um, for you guys um, the month of September begins and have four weeks it is um, the energy of hair energy of the star so this is good wonderful positive energy vibration um, that comes up for you guys I want to say thank you please like share these videos and don't forget to um, check out and cross watch cross watch is very important now you opiosis and the Sagittarius I really seriously and this is why I always said go watch the Sagittarius readings also because sometimes the energies come back and you will see that you and the Sagittarius or because you were always Sagittarius until we start letting you guys know that you're Ophiosis always check out the Sagittarius reading okay and vice versa because what happened and what transpired is that sometimes information comes so obviously whatever is happening there is an end to a cycle that is coming up for you guys and this is very good because it's opening up something for you in your life okay so our uh, end of a, a situation is coming in and with the end of the situation it's opening up new beginnings for you Ophiosis okay then we have the eye princess the eye princess keep on coming up in the month of September there's a lot of secrets there's a lot of healing that is going on the eye princess she is coming up like in most of the thing there and I can really really shuffle the cards over and over I spread them out I princess is coming up for you guys so when the high princess comes up is secrets but it's also intuition but it is more of secrets in this month because this month is the month of uh, um, healing so it's as if a lot of secrets are coming out about people and situations so you have to be aware in the third week the Empress comes up and this is good because the Empress is coming up and also in the third week which is really wonderful and really positive that mean your financial stability and abundancy is going to be good because this is a week of nurturing okay but it's also creativity and it's also a week of uh, um, financial stability whatever you need is going to be coming in now with two feminine energies in the middle of your month it's going to be very positive because the feminine energies are definitely coming back and that is good with the feminine energies coming back is what is doing it's healing the planet because that is what is happening victory and success yay <laughs> oh my god you opios is victory and success victory and success oh my god you Ophiosis, I love you guys so much please find out whoever is born November 27 till December 15 you're going to be victorious September is a good month for you guys there is you're beginning the month with the earth energy um, then you have water then you have hurt and then you have fire so you have um, three elements that is working for you now the first week is a yes the third week is a yes and the fourth week is a yes so what we're seeing here is that a situation is being ended secrets and lies is coming out um, um, a lot of you are going to be financial stable and you're going to be victorious there's a lot of traveling there is uh, um, if you were having car problems or that sort of a thing it's going to be a release um, in the month um, I'm seeing you overcoming all the obstacles that you were dealing with so um, obstacles or leaving your life in the month of September okay um, you came in in the month of September sitting pretty good because it is something that you have been dealing with for quite some time that there is changes that is here now there is definitely changes that is here now for you finally you're coming out of an issue that has been happening and an issue that has been transpiring and you're really removing yourself and coming out of a situation okay so um, when it comes on to money um, financial stability yes it's going to be there if you had an issue 
it's going to be working out because you're going to be victoriously coming over a situation okay so let's see what is transpiring first week going in the second week um, you have come out a really horrible situation and you are taking some time off and this is going to be good because you're planning for your next mood a cycle has ended and now as new cycles begin and you are going to be planning for your next move and this is going to be good okay you're going to be planning for your next move and this is going to be good then we have the, the energy of uh, um, you turning your back on a situation you're going to be finding out something it could be something that has to do with your mom um, or your grandmother or something of a past life but something is going to be coming out that you're turning your back on and you're thinking um, I am ending this whatever the secret is whatever is uh, coming out whatever is transpiring but there is something to do with either your mother your parents your grandparents your foreparents whatever it is but you're turning your back on this situation some of you could be finding out something that is going to be coming to you but this is going to be good okay um, then um, the third week going into fourth week some of you are dealing with a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person whoever this person is um, and whatever is transpiring um, you could be helping this person out or this person could be helping you out some of you um, this person could be turning their backs on you this is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn but I'm seeing here that you're thinking about ending a connection with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person this is someone between the ages of 18 and 45 the eight of cups and uh, this person you could be turning your back on this person or this person could be turning your back this could be a child if you have a child that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn they could have done something that you're thinking I am letting this go I'm turning my back you found out something what this person have done and you are letting it go you're turning your back on this person you're basically cutting them off something is going to be coming out some secrets are going to be coming out and you are deciding no longer to deal with someone or something or ending something that has transpired because you're very disappointed in it financial stability is going to be coming up for the family the Empress is here in the third week you are going to be financial stable this is going to be good you have overcome a situation whatever the issue is and whatever the situation is the ten of Pentacles is here it is very wonderful because the Empress is bringing in this money to you is so it's this it could be someone who their their mother has passed away and it's the, this money is coming in I'm seeing a lot of you thinking to leave something behind and whatever it is it could be friendship some of you could have a friendship with a, a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and they have done you some injustice and you are victoriously um, getting over this and you're turning your back on this person it could be a child for some of you but some of you it could be a friend or it could be someone oh my god happiness and joy so you're ending the month with happiness and joy with a family so you're reconnecting with your family okay there was some deceptive things that has um, um, happened whatever is happening the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles keep on coming up because it's as if this month is releasing releasing certain situation certain energy and bringing happiness and joy to the family but also bringing financial stability and this is what is coming up for you ophiosis um, you know it's once in a lifetime that I will get a bad reading for the Ophiosis and the Sagittarians is because you guys are the luckiest people on this planet and you guys help others um, to bring forward their luck now victory and uh, victory and success over a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and that is going to bring you a lot of financial stability whoever this person is and whatever they did um, they have been found out that they have done something injustice their fault is making you be very very um, rich okay so yeah um, a young person could have done some um, 
and this is a um, uh, it could be a Capricorn it could be a Capricorn um, whoever this person is um, because I'm seeing them trying to stretch their hands out to communicate with you and say sorry and you have turned your back on them it is as if you do not want to communicate with this person for whatever has transpired is as if okay I'm, I'm done I know what you did I don't really want to deal with you um, I I'm, I'm you know it's so sad what you have done and um, yeah what we're looking at is that some of you a situation has ended and a new cycle is begin you have some regrets about a family issue but you're letting it go it's as if I can't change the situation so I'm letting it go so um, I'm seeing like this month the month of September is the month where you're making decision about um, people and situation I'm, I'm, I'm seeing you stepping away and turning your back but I'm seeing financial stability is coming because you're going to be victorious it's like in the middle of the month you're going to give up and then at the end of the month boom so if you have a business do not um, give up because it's going to be a success okay um, that is definitely come up coming up do not give up on whatever you're working on because it's going to be a success but I'm seeing you thinking about turning your back on a lot of things and it's like the universe is saying no take time think about things before you make the decision so let's see um, what is happening we have yes you're turning your back you're going in meditation you're thinking what is uh, the new step a cycle is over so now you are deciding um, to look forward for better shores and this is going to be good for you it is better um, for you to look forward to better shores this is um, so wonderful for you guys okay so that is good and um, and then in the second week going in the third week I'm seeing you dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man uh, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man is definitely a Capricorn man um, he's in the reverse because you're turning your back on this person so this um, man could be a Capricorn four to five years and older I'm seeing you're turning your back on this person um, whatever you found out um, something about this person and you're thinking about turning your back on this person this person is in the reverse that means this person is not being honest about something and it has to do with your financial stability or your materialistic position and it is really a Capricorn man and you are turning your back on this person because um, you're real you found out a secret about this person okay and um, the secret has to do with this uh, um, Pisces cancer or scorpion okay so you have victoriously overcome a situation with um, these two people um, these two people you could have been in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn or a Pisces cancer or scorpion and you realize that um, these two people are together and you overcome a situation that was going on so this is a young person this is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and um, this man is a Pisces cancer or scorpion Whoever this person is, is that you have overcome a situation with this person. Whatever they were doing and whatever they were playing, you found out something about these two people. Okay. So this young man is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. Okay. And this young man, the father could be a tall a Capricorn. Okay. It's all about this young man is all about materialistic stability and he is like um, you know uh, whatever you have is mine and you're like no and you're gonna be finding out that these two this Knight of Cups is with 
a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. These could be someone you're in a relationship with. They're together, but you're going to be finding out about this. Okay. No more worries. You are not worried anymore. The worries is over. There is no more worries. You're like, you know, life is full of surprises. This is what it is. You're moving forward. Okay. So you're like, I am not worried anymore. Whatever should happen, should happen. I am okay. The cycle of my life is over. I am fine. I am letting it go. Whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing um, that this young person who is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, you're going to be victorious over this person. And you could find out that this person is in a relationship with a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Whatever the issue is with these two, you're going to be victorious over them. There's no more worries. You have regrets, but you have no worries. There is an, a situation with the... Um, this um, Aquarian Gemini or Libra person. Now, these three people, these three people, these three people. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, my oh God, people can make life so really missed. Um, just, just. Okay, so a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion could have done something to you. Okay. And this, 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 this young man tried to use an Aquarius Gemini or Libra to do something. Now it all blew up. It all blew up. It all blew up. It all blew up because what we're seeing here is a love triangle. And you're just going to be walking away from these people and saying, hey, until next time because I am not playing your games so be careful um some of you if you're married to or you had a child with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and the child is a Pisces Cancer Scorpion it's all about materialistic stability okay so be careful of this um you're moving away from this you're just cutting them out of your life and you're just moving away from this you're going to be coming out being very happy with a family enjoy that because this the dream walker is here the dream walker is going to be helping you guys and trust me no more worries no more worries you have nothing to worry about the dream walker is here dreams the collective good illumination okay so number eight is here the energy vibration in this one is number 10 for you guys it's going to be a real well um spent month um, money is there happiness with the family is there victor victory and success you're walking away from someone you're leaving someone behind i'm seeing some of you dealing with kids who think that they um should have it and you're like hell no bye and this is good because you're teaching them something for the rest i think some of you are going to be finding the right people um you're going to be reconnecting with your own um family um how do you call that your own soul family and you're leaving the bloodline behind okay so the dream walker is here and the dream walker is going to help you to make your dreams come true um 88 is here and 10 so 8 and 10 is your um number for um the month 8 and 10 8 is always infinity abundancy unexpected money is going to be coming true archangel send up all love love is the answer love is the answer archangel send up all you can call up an archangel send up all to ground you ask on archangel send up all to stand in your aura and ground you love is going to be very important you have to realize that with everything that is happening love is the only thing that is real okay so with everything that is happening love is the only thing that is real then we have the sacred chakra so some of you definitely you're going to be healing your sacred chakra 
in this month um, you're going to be taking back your power you're going to be telling people where to get off you're going to be understanding who you are you are going to be taking back your powers and you're going to be walking away from the BS and um, no longer um, you are going to accept people and they're misbehaving in a nasty way okay the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune okay go and watch the Sagittarius reading because you're going to be blown away from that also because um, the wheel of fortune is here and it is uh, the lays are over sudden and unexpected good luck a new car or a travel transportation and this is true because what is happening is that you have the energy of the um, the chariot so some of you could be traveling some of you are definitely going to be having a new car so whatever is transpiring um, congratulations to you guys congratulations with your new car um, um, if you're traveling um, it's going to be good if you wanted to go on a vacation if you wanted to do something it's going to be good the delays are all over it is time all obstacles are being removed the delays are all over ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you thank you for being here namaste until